So I want to make a quick video on how to enable DLSS 4 for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Um, they're very simple actually, not very hard to do. Um, I'll put all the links that you need in the description below. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the OptiScaler um, GitHub page. It's going to be version 0.7.0 pre-66. Once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Download this uh, first file here. And it's going to ask you if you, uh, you know, where to extract it. I just made a, f a folder named OptiScaler in the version and then just extracted the contents into that folder. Once you do that, just go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, common, find, rebirth, then go to your end folder, binaries, win64, and you want to end up in the folder that has your ff7 rebirth underscore dot exe file, okay? All you got to do is grab all the files from your OptiScaler folder drag them here and the next step you want to do um, you want to rename one of the uh, files here before we move on to the next step so we want to rename the nvngx.dll file so this one right here rename this to dxgi okay so just rename that to dxgi don't do the um, ini it has to be the dll okay then let's go back to the main folder, go to Engine, uh, Plugins, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64. Then from here, we go ahead and copy this file, go back to the main folder, go into End, Binaries, Win64, paste that file here, and we're just going to rename this to nvngx.dll. Okay? Once you do that, Go to DLSS Overrides. Click on this file right here, Enable Signature Override. Hit Yes. Hit Yes again. Hit OK. And that's it. You have now installed the ability to enable frame generation on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, so all you got to do at this point is just boot up the game. Once you're in the game, all you have to do is hit Insert on your keyboard, and that's going to bring up the menu for... Um, to enable frame generation so i'm just going to load up a save file real quick so right now i'm currently in grasslands which is decently demanding uh it's a de pretty demanding area um, i'm running at 4k so i just hit insert then make this window a little bit bigger for you guys and as you can see right now i'm sitting at close to 80 fps right so as soon as I enable frame generation, I jump up to about 120. Um, we want to enable FG HUD fix and set this to three. Okay. The reason for this is because if you do not set that, that option to three or enable FG HUD fix, what's going to happen is if you see on the bottom left, your commands menu, if you don't enable that, it's going to be very scuffed. And obviously that's not enjoyable. So what we want to do to fix that is hit FG uh, HUD fix and set this number to three. Okay. So once you set that to three, your um, HUD will be fixed. So you won't be dealing with that, um, that issue anymore. Another option that you can enable is the sharpness override. I personally like having this at like 800. I like having a little bit more detail. Um, it's not for everyone, but it is something that could help you like um, increase your clarity, like picture cl clarity. Um, another thing, if you want to, um, you know, get more frames, you can always go into your um, graphic settings and change some settings around. I have mine to 66% and background model detail to high, um, only because if I crank this up to 100, I don't actually see much of a image difference, like image quality difference. And I'm not too concerned about the pop-in. Um, I, I actually like the frames more. So I kind of deal with it. If you don't like the pop-in at all and want to take a little bit of a hit on performance, that's totally fine. You can probably set that to ultra, especially if you're uh, playing on 1440p. I'm on 4K, so I it, it makes a pretty big difference for me. Um, and I just don't enjoy having, uh, you know, lower frames. So I, that's, those are my settings. Um, just running around the world real quick. I can show you guys, um, 
how consistent my frames are and how they sit at you know 120 to almost 130 up towards like 150 at times um, it's not perfect you are going to get some um, frame drops here and there um, but honestly the cons outweigh or the the pros outweigh the cons for me and I think this is just too good to not use um, another thing you can do as well is you can um, you know when you go into like fights and stuff you'll notice that the frames stay pretty consistent like they're gonna stay above that 120 FPS so it, it's pretty nice like I, I just don't see why anyone wouldn't want to be running this um, it's just it's so good so um, yeah this is how you enable it uh, I did want to give a quick shout out to um, the person that kind of got me to look into this further I was kind of browsing um, the the internet to see if the frame generation option was enabled or you know like DLSS 4 and I came across this post on Steam and this user right here kind of gave me the steps on how to do this um, so you know credits to them for showing us how to do this um, I kind of did my research and figured out how to you know enable it properly and also some of the settings that will kind of fix some performance issues and stuff but yeah this is how you enable frame generation in the game if you want to enable DLSS 4 um, that's not going to give you a performance boost it's actually just going to make the image clarity a little bit better uh, I believe so because when I enabled DLSS 4 it actually took a hit in performance I went down about 5 to 10 frames um, so if you want that um, I can make a separate video for that um, but yeah just wanted to make a quick video on how to enable frame generation and you can get a lot of frames um, and performance at very little uh, cost all right good luck and have fun enjoy the game